hello guys welcome once again in the last video I have shown you how to uh, insert a image into your MySQL database so you choose an image and you give some data here and whatever data is you enter anything and that data when you click save it will be saved into your database okay including this image now I want uh, to retrieve this image from my database so this image when I look into the database is saved in the form of blob variable so now I want to retrieve back that image into my picture box once again so here so this I will do with the help of the combo box so if you have seen uh, the video number 11 in that video I have shown you when you select any value from the combo box how to retrieve other data in this text box so for example I choose any data any name from the database it shows the respected value respective values here so for that if you want you can go to the video number 11 and see the code from there because I'm using the same code to retrieve the image also because these uh, four things uh, I am already I am already uh, retrieving from the database with the help of uh, this uh, combo box so I will add the code for uh, retrieving the image this time so just I will select this combo box and double click it and this code uh, I have shown you in the video number 11 okay so in this video I will show you how to add the code for retrieving the image also so this code has a query string in which we are passing select star from database dot e data where name is equal to whatever you select in the combo box okay so if you don't know this code just you can copy it from here also or see the video number 11 and right now we are uh, taking our employee id name surname and age and we are passing it into this text boxes okay and now we will add the code for the image so we are going to add the code but before that we need to import one more namespace no I don't think we need to add more namespace just uh, go to this um, combo box double click it and b below this code which we have written previously write this code for retrieving the image ok so write byte array your variable image imgg in my case is equal to byte array once again and my reader which is this mysql reader we have defined if you see the video number 11 then you come to know what is what is it so write that and in the square bracket this is uh, the name of your column image so this is this column name which is image okay and then in the next line write if image is equal to null so because in the database more previous values are null that's why we are uh, defining this condition so 
if image is equal to null then picture dot image is equal to null so it will place uh, in the picture box nothing so this is the name of your picture box which is your this picture box and dot image is equal to null else in the bracket write memory stream ms stream m stream is equal to new memory stream and pass this image byte variable in this memory stream and then write the name of the picture box dot image is equal to system dot drawing dot image dot from stream and in here write ms stream which is your this variable so write this code in addition to the code you have written in the video number 11 i think which is for the combo box okay and now let's try and run the program so username and password and right now my picture box is empty and this are also empty so for example I select the name let's see that appears first so I will select first the employee ID one which has no images okay no image variables so what happens so I selected and it shows me unable to cast type system dot database null to system byte okay so it's showing some error because our database is null but when you select employee ID 13 which has some image in the database so for example jack employee id 13 i will select this one so it will show the picture which it contains okay so for example employee id 14 also contains some picture so it shows different picture once again 13 it shows different picture 14 different picture so if uh, the database contains the picture then it will show the picture otherwise when you select the value which have no picture null picture then it will show this message okay so in this way you can retrieve your image from the database into your picture box once again so i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now